Hey everybody, it's Mr. Movies 87 here, and welcome back to Let's Play Pre to Let's Play Precipice of Darkness 4. Let's head on through the Coral Cave and see what's inside with, uh, well, some new enemies today. Got a handful around here to show off, as per usual, so let's get right to it. Got the Flying Electric Eel. Like, now you're just, you're just overachieving at this point, really. Like, come on now. And the Neon Wisp. Those look kind of cool, actually. Kind of remind me of those uh, floating sphere things from uh, from Lunar 2. Uh, those little seed enemies at the, in Zophar's Keep. Uh, those things, yeah. Um, so really, here, I pretty much want to just go for, like, AoE attacks on everything, by and large. These enemies around here don't have that much health. So yeah, uh, Eternal Revelations there. Uh, Blizzard will help us out quite a bit. Oh, the enemies in here are pretty strong against Blizzard, by and large. Not those ones. They, they don't count. <laughs> um, other things here besides them are uh, weak or strong against water spells. So uh, we'll cross the bridge when we come to it. This is a, a pretty small area, by the way. Uh, but also, I didn't want to do it last episode because um, it is like a, only a few minute long dungeon. And I wasn't really sure if I'd be able to beat it in the half hour time I give myself usually. So I just left it for, uh, for today. Uh, let's see. Oh, some new enemies here. The Mamussel and the Totsik. Let me guess, it's French? It is. It's sentient, because, you know, why not? Known for its scent and purity. Uh, that's kind of gross. Oh, I said Eternal Revelations. I combined this and uh, that. So, uh, no, no. I meant to use Eternal Punishment. Well, I meant to say as much. Uh, let's see here. Uh, you'll have... Just go attack that one, attack that one. Now, these things, I'm pretty sure, are all weak or strong against Blizzard. Uh, so, actually, I'll have Catsby use Call Skeleton here for this first turn. I may still use Blizzard regardless, though, just because it's uh, AoE damage, and that helps out a lot, obviously. Even though it'll do only, only like, 200 damage-ish to all, all the enemies here, but uh, not a big deal. Let's see, Twisp will have you go uh, top hat decap on whoever has the highest HP. I don't really care about the poison here, honestly, because it's not that big of a deal. Um, yeah, go out on the uh, seat there. And yeah, Catsby. I could use Purge, which... Mm, no, no, we'll go Blizzard. We, sh we should be okay. Let's see, Brodent, if you would... Doesn't really matter who you attack at this point. They're all they're all almost dead. Uh, let's just go for a berry here. Doesn't matter who. And then um, let's see, twist. You're going next, so that physical attack or not. That works too. Hey, ooh, starburn for Broden there. Nice. That's a uh, a one MP medium fire attack, I believe. I'll double check here, of course. Um, yeah, so that'll be very useful. Yeah, this part's pretty straightforward and, again, pretty short as well. Let's see. Oh, mermaid turned human, not a human turned mermaid? I'm not sure how that works. Oh, okay. Are there degrees worthwhile underwater? I, I would assume they are if they go so far to come up to the surface to earn said degree and then go right back down to the ocean, but, uh, well... <clears throat> Excuse me. I don't really know much about mermaid culture and all that, so... I won't pretend that I do either, so... There are things I am knowledgeable about, uh, to my credit. Uh, mermaid culture is not one of them, to be perfectly honest. Yeah, these things, pretty easy. AoE spells are the play here. AoE anything in this game is super worthwhile. Uh, let's see, I think the correct way to go is to the northeast up there. Yeah. But we got, got one chest over here for the Yeti Scarf to boost Aqua powers. Or Aqua, Ice, they're of course the same elements. We've been over that already. I'm liking all this coral around here too. Is this all the Kiss Me type you've heard about before? Or is, or is it just actual uh, coral? I forget which, but anyway. Ooh, I recognize you from episode 3. The good old Mimapus. Let's see, uh, don't call him a clownfish. <laughs> just... Just don't. He hates that. Okay, well, I'll be respectful. I will uh, I will not call him that. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's go... I actually want to go with Rat Fever here. Although, no, Poison doesn't, doesn't really do that much damage. So, actually, no. I'll just go with a Starburn on, I guess, you. And then uh, we'll go Blizzard here as well. 
wouldn't hate a uh, better wind spell, an AoE wind spell for Philosophy, but that'll come down the line. I forget what level exactly, but uh, we'll get there soon enough. Uh, let's see here. So Twist, Twist, let's go top hat decap on, uh, I guess, the Mima Plus at this point. And then uh, Catsby Ice Shards? Not needed. Excuse me. Okay. Now we've got one more chest over here for what do we got? Ooh, Brave Leechy. Always love those. These I will give to uh, Twisp. He's super good. Now, you might think, oh, hey, we're, we're done here. We can't go any farther. But being an RPG in, in the waterfall right here, there's a secret passage behind it. Really hard to see, though. But they, you can see at least Moira and Jim right there, so, yeah. Uh, ooh, what have we here? A new friend? For boss time, the Coral Golem. Uh, now, this guy here is annoying because he resists pretty much everything you can do to him. So, what I want to do first, let's go positive thinking. And let's see here. Um, mm, we'll go for interrupt, actually. And then we'll do a poison here as well. Try to work on anything that'll uh, do damage over time. Though, that's really only poison here in my case. I don't have anything that can uh, inflict bleed with this group. I don't think, anyway. But yeah, this guy is strong against whatever you do, pretty much. But it's really, really such. And he has a lot of health as well. So, nothing for it, really. Can't really do much. Um, so, really, I want to try just to maximize my damage here. With Twisp, I'll just go between Defend... And, uh, top hat decap. Um. <coughs> excuse me. Sorry, I'm a little burpy today. Um, yeah, Catsby will just go for Ice Shards there. Philosophy will just go into, uh, Dance Crazy every turn. Broden just keep going with, uh, um. Oh, Spraying Pretty might be worthwhile, actually. That's stronger with repeated use. Okay, yeah, I'm all about that. Then, yeah, we'll go with a top hat decap here, and then just go with a dance crazy. And we should be okay. Ow. Keeping it eel. I assume we're hit by an actual eel when he does that. Let's see. Um, would it be better to use berry? It might. I'll be able to use that every turn. Hmm. Yeah, my attacks aren't really doing a whole lot, but uh, that's the way this guy works, unfortunately. Um, yeah, just defend at this point. Yeah, poison will help out a little bit, but not really much. Yeah, I don't really know if bringing a dust bunny here would be any more worthwhile. Just because, um, this guy still, yeah, has no weaknesses to, well, anything. But he's already almost dead, so, eh, we'll be fine, we'll be fine. Let's see, top hat decap. Okay, I was hoping it would kill, but not quite. Okay, now he's almost dead, finally. And Catsby's dead, but that's okay. It, it works out, because he comes right back to life anyway. Ooh, flip out for Twisp. Nice, that's the AoE physical attack from uh, the Leviathan had uh, there from before. And Dark Paths for Jim, a new passive ability there, I think. Oh, he's... Oh, trying to be a tough guy? <laughs> Wrecking Ball Fist. Oh, hmm. The uh, tripartite? Interesting. Oh, ill. Gross. That sounds gross. But anyway, new party member with the coral golem. Uh, optional member, of course. You don't have to come here. Um, ooh, you're tanky and strong. I do like that. Deep volt, heavy water, and fire attack. Interesting. Then shields, armor, robes, store HP, and. Ooh, heals allies when defeated. Interesting. Although, that's a bad thing if he dies, because if your tank dies, you're kind of screwed otherwise. Oh, but yeah, um... Yeah, Dust Bunny really wouldn't have been that useful against this guy, I don't think. So, uh, nuts to that. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, moving on. Actually, that took me longer than I thought it would. Almost ten minutes. So, again, that's why I didn't come here last episode. I guess I... I mean, I could have... But no, I've been trying to be a little bit strict-ish to keep the episodes around a half hour in length or so. Now, of course, I'm sure there'll be times when I'll go longer than the, than the half hour. I've already done that a couple of times already, and I'm sure I'll do so more throughout the remainder of the LP. But oh well. Okay, so we're all fully resupplied on stuff here from Effluvia. We took care of the cave down there. We took care of the cave over there. 
took care of the coral cave up there. So now we have the uh, battlefield. Now, just one note here before we go in. The background music here, there's a lot of gunfire going off pretty much constantly. If it's too loud in this episode here, um, I will, I'll watch it, I'll watch the footage back, of course, and then I'll turn the sound effects down, um, to low for the next, for the episode following this one. Just a heads up there. Hopefully it won't be too, too bad, but uh, let's, let's go inside. So, uh, oh, hey, I, I see a Tycho right there. Hey, you know what's cool? When you fight and fight and fight and don't ever stop. Um, oh yeah, this is the battlefield that little girl was watching from earlier, or watching from her window, I should say. Oh, hey. So what, are you just like a watch, watchman or something? Oh, that is true. Yeah, in um, the actual real world there. Oh, well. Wait, how could he be one or the other? Shouldn't he be, you know, both? See, exactly. Oh, yeah. I mentioned the whole family re re reunion thing a while back. That would be kind of weird. I guess if you guys all just dress differently or wear name tags, that would help. Although, no, name tags really wouldn't do much. <laughs> oh, well, yeah, we know about that. That's kind of why we're here. Oh, that's a good, good point, actually. Their whole thing is to end the universe, so, like, why do they care why we're here? Oh. <laughs> oh, uh, Sure. She's not your superior or anything. Why is Bride capitalized? Weird. Oh, uh, thanks for the tip? Oh, uh, you guys could just, you know, retreat or something. Oh, uh, hmm. Yeah, they kind of can't die then at that point. Oh, you know what? That sounds pretty solid. So it's a win-win here, I would say overall. Oh, <laughs> don't don't worry about Jim. He's uh, he's fine. He has his robe or whatever. He's he's fine. He's fine. Oh, okay, cool. You'll let us through then. Oh, what kind of gesture? You you'd think he would just you know point his finger in the direction we're supposed to go? But, uh, oh well. Okay, uh, we've got the Barretts around here. Uh, one of these does have a chest inside, I'm pretty sure. I forget which one, though. <sighs> That's better. Uh, let's see. Was it this one? It may have been this one, actually. Haha! -ha! Oh, do I want that? Oh, actually, yeah, I do. Get the uh, max, uh, max HP increase. I almost read the HP as just, you know, hip as an actual word, which it's kind of not. I yeah, can hear all the uh, bullets and lasers in the background there. Hopefully, yeah, it's, it's not too too terribly loud. Oh hey, why are you blocking the way? We can we can go through. Oh, what do you mean? He's friends with Gabe, and well, Jim too, kind of. I think maybe. And my OC that doesn't really count though. But anyway, ooh. Also, yeah, kind of annoyingly here actually, the gunfire still progresses while you're in battle. I kind of wish it would, you know, not do that, but, uh, oh well. Oh yeah, so, new enemy here, Private Brahe. You wonder what he did to did private in, in an army full of himself. Wouldn't that, wouldn't they just all be private by default, then? Isn't that how the army, nah, I don't, don't know how the army works, never mind. Over here, I will ask, though, to try and learn when you join the army, if you, of course, officially, you know, uh, hit rank or whatever. Aren't you, isn't Private the first rank you have? I mean, I, I think that's the case, but I do not know for sure. Yeah, not really a uh, military buff or anything like that. And that guy is dead. Uh, sorry, pal. Um, oh, hey, um, are you in a trench? Can't really tell. Okay, well, now I can. It's a big-ass gun you got there, by the way. Oh, you're weak to something, at least. It's a good day if you draw the big gun. Well, I guess both these guys have, are having good days, then. Now, throughout here, I like going with uh, my AoE spells, because uh, all these Brahes around here, at least the Grunts, have pretty low HP. 
say now since we have flip out as well with twist uh, these battles here will be very very easy because yeah we can go with um uh, what is it there yeah flip out eternal punishment and blizzard yeah these fights are really really easy for quite a while actually and yeah, though it easier still coming up here uh, but uh, you'll see you'll see also, yeah, our team will need to play catch-up a little bit with uh, Gabe's group there. They're pretty far leveled over us for right now. Oh, let's see. Got some more Barrett's here for... Oh! Uh, hey! Why do you have mummies in your army? Well, they're already dead. They can't really die again. So, uh... Okay, I can respect that, but what do they need money for? They're dead. That... I, I don't know. Probably really shouldn't just ask questions anymore at this point. You'd think I'd learn at this point, but no. Also, I do like how they're uh, guarding the chest back there. Also, you can see it in the background of the fight here. That's uh, kind of cool. That chest has... I think a weapon, actually, if I recall correctly. I actually did play through the area here earlier. Just to kind of familiarize myself with all the battles here and whatnot. And plot progression as well. Yeah, flip out there with Twisp is so, so, so good. Ooh, Dance Crazier for for, for, loss of, for loss of Fly. Nice. Fucking tongue-tied there again. That's the uh, upgraded Wind Spell for him there. And Foul Mouth for Rodent's a new ability. And uh, Wind Daughter for Moira. I forget what that one does, actually. It's a passive. <sighs> Let's see. Oh, okay, Boost Wind Element. Uh, oh, are you with Philosophy by chance, or is Jim... I think Jim is actually. That would be good for Philosophy, though. Oh, but yeah, there's a you know, medium wind spell with a uh, dance crazier. Uh, what else did I learn? Wasn't there a third ability I got for somebody? Uh, oh yeah, uh, foul mouth here. Medium attack and inflicts poison. That will be useful coming up here, I'm sure. Ooh, a brazooka. Nice. Turns out a magical bazooka is a pretty good weapon. Well, no arguments there. Uh, so that would be good for... Ooh, that's actually really good for you. I don't like the lower defense by 35. But you're already pretty fragile as is, so... Yeah, actually, I'll give that to you. Why not? I mean, it's a Brazooka. It has 80% of the Brahe in the name. I can't, well, I can't say no to that. Uh, but let's see. Also... Yeah, I mentioned there, that there are lasers here, you know. Um, my question is why? Because we see the Brahes here have, you know, normal guns and artillery and whatnot there. So I guess the editors or whatever they're fighting or the Biblioteca have lasers? Yeah, I definitely heard a pew, 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 pew. Oh, hey, well, I guess we're at the front lines here. Uh, we can't talk to any of these uh, Tychos around here, by the way. They're kind of, you know, entrenched in their own warfare thing. So uh, just leave them be. Uh, oh, um, hi, the Brassassin, uh, should you be, like, on the front lines there too, or actually know the enemy's back lines might be more apt, but I digress. Um, let's go ahead and go Starburn on, there's either one of these here. Oh yeah, description here, all bra hate kill, but some are better than others. Well, you'd think our Taika would actually be, you know, the best at doing so, because... He kind of ended the entire universe and thus killed tons and tons and tons of people. Though that's not really, that doesn't make him an assassin. That just makes him a straight up murderer. Although, I mean, he had noble intentions. The Lawn Project was meant to, you know, restore the universe to a better state. Um, using Anne Claire as the basis, of course. But, uh... Well, he's trying to still do that, um, but the uh, last god down here in the Underhill is preventing that. So, uh, well, there's that. Oh, some more levels there. Nice. Oh, yeah, Coral, Go Coral Golem, that's a that's hard to say. Um, I'll use him eventually. Oh, uh, Strengthium Rods. Uh, so, forgot those were there. I guess I didn't really need to buy one of those earlier, but, uh, oh well. Hm, excuse me. Let's go ahead and go onward over here with the... Uh, ooh, the... That should be Lieutenant there. I just didn't, didn't really have enough characters to fit all that. And the Samurai. Nice. That uh, rolls off the ton rather well. 
Wow, aren't you a uh, attention whore? <laughs> and uh, oh wow, even the lawn project goes over in uh, Japan apparently. Uh, let's go ahead and go after the uh, lieutenant here first. Same deal with uh, Twisp there, Eternal Punishment, and Blizzard. Yeah, the Tome there, still with the MP boost with Catsby along with the uh, Talismans there. It's so, so good, especially when he gets stronger spells coming the uh, late game here. And we actually are nearing the late game here, actually. We don't have much longer to go. Let's see, so yeah. Same deal as always. Yeah, Eternal Punishment, Blizzard, Flip Out. Um, Broden there can just use his uh, medium attack or whatever to polish things off, but... Uh, yeah, battles around here are pretty damn easy overall. Let's see. Oh, got one more over here. Any any new enemies here? No, just three and three. Okay. So Starburn, we'll go just for any Samurai here. It doesn't really matter who. Just to thin them out, really. Or soften them up, I should say. I do look forward to when Catsby gets the uh, upgraded Blizzard spell with uh, medium ice damage to all enemies. That'll be immensely useful, being able to use that back-to-back. -back. But yeah, that won't be for quite a while, though, unfortunately. I, I don't recall what level he gets that on, though. But uh, yeah, that won't be until later. Do I even need Flip Out here? And the answer is no. Ooh, Focused HUD for Catsby there. That's a better healing spell. And, uh, ooh, Rabidify for uh, Dust Bunny there. What does that one do? I forget. Let's see. Oh, the Self Speed Boost. Neat. Could be useful. Oh, those are less useful. I, I don't want those. Why, why are they even there? I don't know. Oh, uh, can't talk to you. What are you? Are these, like... These cannons or something, I assume? Uh, yeah, let's, let's, let's go with that, I guess. Oh, hey, there's another one of the uh, Bibliotheca right there. You can tell by the different outfit. Oh, hey, are you in, are you in charge? No, another, another uh, lieutenant there. But a new enemy, a Barahe Phalanx. That's a lot of Tycho's there. I don't mind that, actually. I like Tycho. You guys already, of course, know that. He's been my profile picture on YouTube for, like... Well, since my channel started, actually, this one here. Oh, yeah, actually, too, I just saw... It was back in August, though. I kind of forgot about it until just now. Um, it's actually my channel's, um, I think, seventh birthday, actually. It started back in 2015, which is crazy to me, actually. It's, it's been around that long already. Yeah, I've been on YouTube overall for quite some time with my old channel that I started back up in like in two, oh, it started up in like 2007 or 8. I'm pretty sure. I think it was 2008, and then that was going on for quite some time there. Then I made the new channel in 2015. Yeah, I have had a a pretty long YouTube career. Well, I say career, but you know what I mean. And oh yeah, the way to go is actually over here where that uh. That gray Tycho is over there. We'll leave him be for right now. Um, okay, can't do it anywhere else this way. But, uh, uh... Okay, no, we're all good here. Oh, wait. No, we are not. Ooh, five grand. Nice. I do like to see the money. Let's see. What do we got here? Oh, the Brahut. He is a, uh, he is a biggin. Those fists are very, very large, by the way. Um, uh, I want to poison you. Um, uh, let's just go with a rat fever on you. Uh, is that why he's so big? Uh, gross? Now, fortunately, he's pretty strong against physical attacks. So I will want to use spells against him eventually. Um, but still, though, of course, go with a blizzard and, and eternal punishments uh, for starters to get the uh, Zombrahes, which are actually also new enemies out of the picture. Didn't really go over them, but they're... Well, they will be dead here soon. Oh, uh, let's see. Oh, well, I guess that's true. They can just be made into a zombie soldier here, so... That, uh, makes sense, I suppose. Uh, let's go spray and pray on the bra hoops there. That might do a little bit better. Uh, let's see here. Or, maybe not. Okay, we'll go Eternal Punishment then. You just go with Top Hat Decap. Then Catsby will have you go with the Ice Shards. And then, um... Uh, I guess triple tap, actually, to get some interrupting going there. Okay, that wasn't too bad. And then, yeah, we'll just go, uh... 
Yeah, berry and physical attack. That should be enough to kill him. Okay, well, that, that works too. Okay, moving on. Okay, so we're now finally on the uh, Bibliotecta side, and yeah, they have some pretty advanced tech here. Um, I'm, they don't, I'm curious, actually, shouldn't they have the advantage here with their superior tech and everything, and, like, weaponry and all that? Brah has only had, you know, normal guns and shit, but, uh, oh, we're already at the end? Oh, also, the area, area here is called the Battleground, I should have said so earlier. Oh, hey, uh, we got General Brahe here. Oh, well, no, they, well, tried to kill us, but didn't really succeed. Oh, well, oh, okay, that could be trouble. Collateral damage, huh? For boss time against General Einar and four Zombrahes. Now, when I, when I was doing this test fight earlier, I was kind of foolish and um, killed all the Zombrahes at once and took a lot of mass damage afterwards. I think for each one of them you kill, it does 30 damage to your entire party. Um, but positive thinking, though, will uh, reciprocate that somewhat. Um, I do want to go call Skeleton here, though, for the passive damage first. Um, I still do want to go the AoE route here, though, because I can, I can heal up with items and whatever as needed, so we should be okay. Plus, yeah, having it be 5 on 4 is a little disadvantageous for our uh, animal friends here. Um, will I, let's see, I think I do want Twist Buse flip out here, actually. Yeah, we'll go with the Eternal Punishment here first, and then we'll go flip out. Yeah, Cat Speed will just go with, with uh, spamming uh, Ice Shards on General Einar there. And yeah, there's all that mass damage there after killing uh, all of them at once. A little unfortunate, but uh, nothing I can't handle. Yeah, potions and, the potions and positive thinking take care of that uh, right quick. Uh, let's see. Actually, let's go with um, Revelations to boost your magic there first. And then, uh, are you weak to fire? Uh, I don't really know for sure, but we'll, we'll see. I don't know, maybe it'll burn your uniform? Or not? God, that actually did, like, no damage at all. That was pretty good, though. And let's see here. Uh, Dance Crazier? Yeah, that should kill. Um, Broden, just defend. We should be fine here. And... Yeah, twist with you would defend as well. Alrighty, not too bad there. Uh, 35 60. It's a weird amount of money to uh, win after a battle, but uh, sure. Ooh, anti antidote for Broden there. Does that prevent poison, maybe? Actually, no, that would do the opposite. I have no idea. Uh, in the zone for Jim, a new passive ability there. Oh. Uh, you seem kind of unfazed. Uh,. Ill. <laughs> yeah, excuse you. We just tried to kill you. Rude. Yeah, we, we didn't we can kind of see that there, General. I guess that's why you're general, because you just can't really die. Oh. Wait, paperwork? You're just standing here doing nothing. But it'll let us go. Or what? I know that theme. That's a lot of blood, by the way. Well, only one guy we know that could do that. What's on his... Oh, Jesse, what's on his shoulder there? His uh, his right shoulder? That's the little stick thing he had earlier in, during the uh, boss fight there. And, uh... Hey, there's the real Taiko again. Uh, great, 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 great grandfather. That's a lot of greats. How many generations would that be? Well, what, that's five, I guess. Uh, shouldn't you be at the pillar? Oh, well, hey, he was over over with Gabe and Hestia at the zoo. You know, because zoos are cool. I actually love the zoo. I haven't been to the zoo in so damn long, though. Ooh, he's joined the party now, finally. Hell yeah, things you love to see. Now, he will bump out your fourth party member automatically, which is totally cool with me because, uh, Brodent isn't really that good. Tycho is. Now, the thing is, though, with him, you cannot change his equipment at all. Can't take off the uh, take off the omnibus, the talismans, or his job class or whatever. So, don't worry about that. Okay, and uh, also, best part ever, his theme song actually still keeps playing while we're moving around. It is, it is the best ever. 
Now, before we move on, or actually before we call it a day, uh, I don't want to fight any more battles. I want to make my way down over here first. To grab six grand. Nice. Yeah, we'll go ahead and make our way back up top over here. And yeah, we'll stop right about here. Do we have a new recap here? <laughs> oh, great. Thanks, Moyer. My incredibly crazy ex-husband is here. Don't you just love to see that? Yeah, it's FYI. They were married before. I think actually even before episode 1, if I recall. They were already divorced in episode 3 onward. Or even episode 1 onward. But yeah, yeah. But uh, there we go. So yeah, let's go ahead and get, uh, get saved up here. And then we head on through more of the battleground towards the Pillar of Katra. Next time on Let's Play Precipice of Darkness 4. This has been Mr. Movesy7 signing off, guys. Have a great day and thanks for watching. Letting this play out because it's so good. <laughs>